we have entered august so today i will talk about my previous month favorites that is my july favorites a hair care product that saved my life during july it's the glycolic acid serum and i'm using the one from minimalist i know this one is quite versatile people use it for their face for their underarms and for their scalp but for now i'm only using it for my scalp i have quite oily scalp so i'm extremely prone to dandruff this one is really helping me so all i do is i just rub it in my scalp leave it for 15 minutes and just shampoo my hair during monsoon my hair becomes extreme mess the hair fall is extreme the frizz is extreme so the product that helps me with the frizz is this wax stick it's extremely cheap available on amazon and perfect for this weather if you are someone who finds it difficult to tame that baby hair this one is a game changer also when you want that clean slick back look this one takes care of that i did talk about the cetaphil cleanser in my previous video but i didn't use it then i use it now although this one is for dry to normal sensitive skin i have extremely oily skin i still use it because it you know removes all your dirt oil makeup and everything it's so soft cleans out all the gunk from your skin and it still is so kind to your skin i'm someone who hates wasting products so i thought it's not for my skin type but let's try it out but it did work for me i use this in my nighttime routine and i'm loving it talking about makeup i'm sure you must have seen this one in my previous video this is the maybelline instant age rewind eraser it's a multi use concealer and blends like butter this is my second tube and i've already used this much if you're someone like me who hates makeup who hates that heavy feeling on your face this one has to be in your kit a it's super slim b there's no product to wastage at all all you have to do is just rotate it the product will appear on the sponge and there's no concealer sitting on the walls and c it's pocket friendly even if you are someone who goes to college who needs a little coverage this one is the best product once you're done with the concealer you need to set it and this one from innisfree has my heart i am that oily skin girl my face shines like a disco ball this no sebum mineral powder doesn't clog pores it mattifies your skin it eats up that oil and makes you look fresh throughout the day coming to the lips monsoons are all about that sticky feeling so when it comes to a lip balm i like my lip balm to moisturize my lips but still look a bit matte so for that this birds bee lip balm is perfect this one is their vitamin e and peppermint variant it moisturizes your lips thoroughly but has no shiny and glossy feeling and i've used it so much that you can see just this much amount is left also when i used it the first time this peppermint made my lips tingle a bit so the first time the sensation was quite weird but now it has grown on me and i absolutely love that tingling feeling if you don't like it you can go for the other variants talking about the lips this is also not a new addition it's the acute fixing tint don't hate me for it but i don't really enjoy those watery tints because they look so patchy on the lips i get it why do we use it for blushes but for the lips no if you can relate this one is a must have it has such a sheer coverage also it's matte and it's buildable so if you want the tint to look like a lipstick you can build it up not just that i also use it as a blush and an eye shadow and i am not disappointed moving on talking about fragrances i know people love perfumes but i am a atal girlie i love atals because they are so concentrated so i'll talk about two here this one is my cult favorite I got it from Chani Chowk Delhi. The shop was Gulab Singh Jewelry Mall, I guess. And the fragrance is Bichu. I'm someone who likes to smell like a bakery. Caramel, vanilla, all the sweet notes—they are for me. And this one is just that. Also, it's so cheap, and this bottle will last you for more than a year. And it's my signature fragrance, so I can't believe I'm just revealing it on YouTube. I've been using this since years while I was in DU I was doing my bachelor's recently when I went to Lucknow I went to this famous shop I can't recall the name but I'll add it here so I got the coffee one from there and I absolutely love it I'm not a coffee person but I love the smell of coffee this one is too strong to be used solely so I mix it with other fragrances and it smells just so good 
So I finished this book in July. It's the courage to be disliked and at the back it says a single book can change your life and actually it did change mine. So I would recommend this to anyone and everyone who can read. I took almost one and a half months to read it because it's a bit heavy read and I wanted to savor everything. But oh my god, I have read so many self-help books but this one tops all of them. Talking about my favorite song, I've been obsessed with Sabrina in July. So please, please, please an espresso were my go-to. Talking about the series I watched in July, I recently finished Feel Me Once and it was based on a novel. I kind of liked it. Out of 10, I think I rated 7. And in July, me and my family, we also watched Unchire. It was not one of the best series I've seen, but it was quite cute. Also, I'm planning to start Modern Family. I did watch one episode, but I get it when you start a series, the first few episodes are not as gripping. So the moment of the month would be when we shifted to the new apartment and my dadiji came and she was about to enter the apartment um, and how she got emotional and my parents got emotional, we all got emotional. That was a memory that will always be quite close to me. I am a podcast girl, so how can I not include a podcast here? I haven't discovered any new podcasts, so I've been listening to Mel Robbins since a long time now. It's Mel Robbins again. She does amazing podcasts. And I added the category of my favorite creator of the month. And that has to be Samia Farooq. I'll add her page here. She does beauty content and I absolutely love it. I found her page on like store page so I followed her and I noticed that she followed me back and I was like that's a fan moment for me. <laughs> I mean it happens with me. If someone follows me whose content I like, it's a big thing for me. And that was the video guys. I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing this monthly favorites and I was like let's do this. Now you tell me in the comments your July favorites. Thank you for watching. Be kind and start with yourself.